Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Hello everybody, I am back from Japan. Uh, I know I've been MIA. I think I'll put up my OneFest video before this one goes up, so you'll have seen that video. But, uh, before this one, but yeah, I've been gone. I got back from Japan yesterday, and I got back to many, many, many boxes waiting for me of just pre-orders and stuff that had been surface shipped and then eventually came. So I thought it would be fun to do a massive May haul slash unboxing to kind of get me back into the feel of things because it's been a good month since I filmed any kind of like sit down YouTube video. Um, I have tons and tons of content from Japan coming your way, uh, both here and on Patreon. Um, that will be coming throughout all of June and probably into the summer because I have a lot. Um, I'll show all the figures that I got in Japan, all the merch, all the goods in separate videos. This is literally just me catching up on all of my pre-orders. Um, and I want to kind of give myself a little bit more time. That's why I'm posting this before all my Japan content. Um, I just want to give myself a little bit more time before I post my Japan content because I really want to edit it, look through all the footage I got, all the photos, and just like make some really, really good content. I'm super excited about it, so I want to actually do a really, really good job with that content and take my time. So I thought I would put out this video where I unbox all of my main pre-orders first. Gwen from the future popping on here to let you know that this video is sponsored by Bai. As you probably know, if you've followed me for a while, I am a avid user of Bai, which is an online proxy service that allows you to buy items from shops all across Japan online, and they will ship them to their warehouse and then ship them to you wherever you live in the world. Today I have actually a quick little unboxing to do. <laughs> so uh, if you watched my last video, you would know that I actually recently got engaged and I bought myself a little engagement gift. So I've wanted this holo for absolute ages. So I popped onto Mercari and lo and behold, somebody was selling this wedding holo figure and I thought, now's the time to buy. <laughs> um, I was. I was on the, the bliss of being freshly engaged and Bai came through. So I bought this on Mercari JP using Bai and uh, they shipped it to me here in Canada. It was super quick and uh, I'm very excited to unbox it. So let's open it up really fast. And here she is in the blister. So this is the Tokyo Otaku Mode and My Ethos holo figure. Um, I've loved it forever. And I'm so happy that it's finally in my hands. Oh. I'm literally gonna get emotional about this. Oh! So here she is, the beautiful wedding dress holo. Oh, she has a hard to remove piece under her arm. There we go. No assembly required, she just pops out of the box just like so. And um, she is absolutely stunning. Uh, this is one of the older Maithos figures, I believe. And oh, she's so beautiful. I love her. Oh! Yeah, so thanks to Bai, I was able to pick up this gorgeous, gorgeous holy grail of mine for a pretty decent price, I'd say. Um, I'm super, super, super happy to finally have this holo in my collection. She is honestly the last holo that I absolutely needed, so yeah. Uh, but Mercari is not the only shop you can shop at on Bai. You can shop on Yahoo Japan Auctions, which I do a lot. Um, I've shopped the Evangelion store on Yahoo Japan Shopping. Um, there's Melon Books, Toranarana, so many different sites that you're able to purchase off of using Bai and using their Add to Bai cart extension. So. Thanks to Bai for sponsoring this video as usual. And if you sign up using the link in the description that they've provided me, you can get 2000 yen off your first purchase. So thanks again to Bai for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the rest of the haul. Um, God, it's been so long. Like, I don't even know where my knives are. I didn't get them out before this video. I'm not prepared. Uh, let's start with the little guy on top. I'm gonna move these to the ground. Oh no, I bumped my camera. We move these to the ground and we'll start picking these off one by one. First up, we have this box from Akimomo. This is my first time actually receiving a pre-order from Akimomo. And I've been waiting a little while for this one. Um, I didn't pre-order this right when the figure went up for pre-order. I pre-ordered it actually after it released in China. Uh, but I think this figure is so cool and I feel like it's very slept on. I feel like nobody bought this figure. 
well, it's kind of a figure. I don't know how to describe it. The box is bigger than I expected for it. Okay. So, here it is. Very interesting method of packaging. So, this is the figure you can't really see it. is the, uh, I don't even know what it's called, I guess, Frame Museum Asuka figure by SSR Figure. So it's like, they're like this weird line of figures where it's like a f picture frame with like a 3D kind of picture of the character in it. The box is really cool. So this is the Asuka one. Um, I really liked this when it went up for pre-order, but I didn't pre-order it. Right away, and then once I saw people getting theirs in, I was like, oh man, I actually need that. Uh, I like it because you can like hang it on your wall, which I think is super cool. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Ah, oh, I can't get it open though. There we go. It's just a very cool concept. I really like it. And it's bigger than I expected. Yes. All over the place. So I don't think there's any assembly required with this picture. Whoa. And here it is. So this is the picture frame Asuka by SSR Figure. Let me show you guys here. Super cool, right? It's quite 3D, like she sticks out pretty far. Uh, it has hooks so you can hook it up on the wall or it has like a picture frame back so you can set it up just like a, like a normal picture frame on a table or something like that. It's all plastic, the frame and the figure itself. Um, this is one of my favorite designs. I do have the altar Asuka with the, with the hat and the jacket. And it's just, it's such a cool design. So I'm really glad that they picked it for this. I think this is a really good affordable alternative to getting the Asuka with the, with the hat from altar. Cause that one is so expensive on the aftermarket now. Uh, but I paid 150 Canadian for this from Akimomo with shipping included. Um, and I think that's a pretty, a pretty fair price for how detailed this is. It's so cool. The shading on Asuka and her jacket is fantastic. There's pretty minimal shading on her Ava unit behind her and the frame, but I feel like that kind of works with the style of this figure. But yeah, the Asuka herself looks amazing. Her hat looks great. Her pose is gorgeous. Uh, I like the glossiness that they added to her suit while her jacket is all matte. And like the white stripe on her jacket is like a satin. Uh, looking like it's like it got a satin finish with like a pearlescent kind of white paint. It's super nice. Oh, they did such a good job on this. I'm so happy I picked her up. I don't know where I'm going to hang her on the wall, but it will be somewhere because I think she's just way too cool. Um, yeah, I'm super, super happy I picked this up. Um, yeah, and my experience with Akimomo was pretty good. Uh, I hear they are the preferred um, retailer for a lot of my Australian friends. So yeah, I thought I'd try them out and I quite like them. So I'm super, super happy to have picked up this Asuka from them. Okay, we got a lot. Let's move on. Okay, we're gonna go with mm, box number two, which is this one from Amazon JP. This one I'm so excited about. I saw this figure while I was in Japan, it released. Uh, so I could like see it in the stores and oh my God. She turned out gorgeous. I'm way too excited. Let's open this up. As usual, we get pretty minimal packaging uh, from Amazon JP. One nice lonely piece of paper, but she got here just fine. And it is the good smile Holo Wolf and the Scent of Fruit figure. It's a 1 7 scale, and it was supposed to release in September this year, but the release date actually got moved ahead. 
So here it is in the box. I don't know if it's in focus, hopefully. So this is the box. It's gorgeous. I love the box. Um, it has like fruit all over it and kind of like a rustic like painted pattern and then like a wood table and then photos of the figure all over. They did a really nice job actually. This is gorgeous. Okay, beautiful. Let's open her up. I'm so happy that this one released early because I was so excited for this figure. I'm always excited for a new Polo. Um, so I was very pleased. Although, Good Smile keeps doing this where they keep bumping up release dates on stuff. And, like, that doesn't fit into everybody's budget, you know? Like, <laughs> luckily I had prepaid for this holo because I had so many figures released this month. It would have been rough if I hadn't prepaid for quite a few of them. But, here it is. So, in the blister pack, we got beautiful holo. Oh, I'm so excited about this figure. I'll never get enough of holo figures. They're just too gorgeous, you know? Okay, so first I'll take out her base. I love the base on this figure. It's like um it's like a grass, but I love how they made it like a bowl type shape. I just think that's so pretty and unique. Like it's just a very different base than what I feel like these companies usually go for. And I think it just adds so much. Like that just looks, that looks so nice. Oh, obsessed with the base. Cause holo figures tend to have really bad bases. I don't know why they always do that. Uh, and then next up we have the figure in the blister. So pulling her out, first impressions are that she looks beautiful. Good Smile usually does a pretty good job, so... Oh, okay, yeah, she's gorge. So she has a bunch of, like, fruit in her lap, and then she has just her green shawl that has some really, really nice shading on it. Dress has pretty minimal shading, but the sculpt is beautiful. Um, her hair looks great, has lots of shading. There are quite a few seam lines, but it's nothing too crazy. I love how much just shape and body she has in her hair, so that looks gorgeous. Her face really shines in this figure. I feel like so many figures don't get Holo's face right, but this one did in the prototype and the real figure looks just like the proto. Um, it's beautiful. She has such a sweet, smiling face. Uh, I'm super, super happy with how she turned out. She's got some white pan panties on um, and bare feet and a little anklet on her one foot. So I really hope she doesn't lean um, because she's just really supported with that one foot. I do think there is, yeah, there is a support in here. So hopefully that will be enough. Um, we also have her tail. So there's like a hole in the back of her dress where like a button has been undone. It like buttons up the back. And then there's an undone button where her tail peeks out. It's super pretty. Oh, I love her. Holo figures just make me happy. You know, they're just so playful and just like, feminine and beautiful and I love them so much. They just make me so happy. That's why I keep buying them. Um, this year's really been the year of just gorgeous holo figures and I am here for it. So tail goes in really nicely. The tail sculpt is quite nice. It doesn't have a ton of hairs. I feel like I have enough holo figures at this point that like I'm pretty good at knowing when it's like a well, a, a good tail sculpt, good hair sculpt, good face, you know? I'm kind of an expert on holo figures, if you will. Um, and this one is beautiful. I thought maybe she would trump the Revolve 10th anniversary holo with the beer, but no, she does not trump that figure. I don't think anything could trump that holo. It truly is the best holo figure, but this one is really, really gorgeous. I do love the sculpt for this one. Um, and they put really nice detailing like under her skirt as well. So I think she just slides on the base like so. She just slides down. She's not quite flat on it. I think that's good enough. Should be good enough. Um, but there she is. And then I think you could be okay without using her support rod. I probably will use it. Let's see. I think it just sticks. There's like a little hole in the base that it goes in, but the hole is very well camouflaged. So like if you didn't want to use the support rod, you definitely don't need to. Oh no. I think maybe I should have put the support rod in. 
before I put her on. Uh, how does this work? Okay, I think it just cups her butt. Yeah. Okay, note to self, put the support rod in before you put Holo in. <laughs> because it is a bit tricky to get in there once she's on. But you just I just slid it, slid it in and rotated it and it's fine. It's honestly like one of the least um, noticeable support rods I've ever seen. So I definitely think uh, if you wanna use it, you can. It doesn't really take away from the figure at all. And then she does have one falling apple that just sticks into her dress, I think like so yeah it's upside down um i always love these holo figures where like there's like fruit falling or splashing water or anything i don't know i just feel like they really give so much like motion and like just interest to holo figures i think that's why i love them all so much and why i keep buying them even though i already have so many holos is just the the sheer like sculpt work and just composition of the figures is just a cut above, I feel like, most other characters. Like, I don't know, every holo figure, with the exception of a few that just turn out horrendously bad, but like every holo figure just has something interesting and fun and dynamic about it, and I just love that so much. So I'm very pleased with this holo. She looks so good. And now I think with that holo figure, I really need to do my Battle of the Manufacturers holo video because I have so many different holos from like a ton of different manufacturers. So keep an eye out for that. I want to put that up sometime this summer because yeah, I just think it'll be fun to have a video where I just compare all of the holos and give just like my thoughts. I mean, we all know who's gonna win the battle of the holos, but it'll still be fun to just compare and contrast all of the different ones that exist. Okay, next up I have this little guy. So we're gonna unbox it quickly, but it is a record and I'm pretty sure I know what record this is, but I do have a couple pre-ordered, so it could be one of a few. I don't even know what's released, to be honest. Oh, this is not what I thought it was. Oh! What? Okay, so this was not at all what I thought it was, um, but it is. I forgot I ordered this. It is the song, I think it's called Chu Taiyose. It's the, um, the song from the, is it the fifth outro of Chainsaw Man? I don't know, it is the, uh, I guess, trigger warning if you don't like seeing barf, even if it's vomit anime. Uh, but it is this outro song for Chainsaw Man on the, uh, the, the, the barf kiss episode. So obviously I really like this song and this outro, uh, but also just the album art I think is hilarious. I love it. So it has the scene from the outro there and then the actual album art for the song on this side. Uh, and they did this limited vinyl, so I picked it up. I thought this was the- I have the One Piece Film Red album ordered, and that's what I thought this was. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is the song here. It has all of the credits and the lyrics on this side. So I really like how they did this. It's very pretty. And then the album art is right here. It is by Anno, and it's just a black um, album. It has the instrumental on this side and then the single on this side. So it was just a single. I think it was a bit expensive for a single. I think I probably paid like $50 for this, but I love the album art so much that I wanted to pick it up. And I do also really like the song. So it was definitely one of my favorite Chainsaw Man outro songs. Um, I hope they put more of the outro songs on vinyl. Uh, I will definitely pick them up. Some of my favorites from Chainsaw Man are obviously the one... I think it was the third outro it's by, uh, is it Maxim, Maxim the Hormone, Hormone the Maxim, something like that. I really like them and I loved that outro. That one was insane. Which other ones did I really like? I really liked um, Dogland. That was probably my favorite one out of all of them by People One. 
people want is that who it's by i think it is um you know surprisingly i'm a huge eve fan and eve's outro was one of my least faves sadly um I, it was just kind of like whatever you know uh, i also loved chainsaw blood that one was it's such a banger i hope that one gets uh put out on vinyl because chainsaw blood is a banger oh i mean all of them are really good and i also really liked the one by um Ciudo. i think it maybe that one was the fifth i don't know i can't remember which ones they were i watched them so long ago but yeah i'm excited that this came okay that was a that was a nice surprise you know you order too much when you don't even know what's going in the box jesus <laughs> okay next up we have this big boy we have two left how long is this video 24 minutes wait what is that 24 minutes Okay, I think I can do this all in one part. Nice. So yeah, we got a lot here. Um, this is the second last figure in unboxing. It's a big box. This one came super quick. Uh, this one was, oh my gosh. What is happening right now? I definitely did not fix this properly. Oh, uh -oh. Whatever, I'll just be careful. Um, oh no. Don't mind me. Uh, what was I saying? This figure shipped by Surface Mail and it came in a month to Canada. Shipped out and it was here. I'm not complaining. I'm opening it from the bottom though because I couldn't get the, my address information off the top. But, in this big boy. These are definitely not meant to be open from the bottom. Oh my gosh, this box is bigger than I expected. Hmm. I guess no clear file. Oh well. It is from Tom. And it is the Lamrock Miku, not that you can really tell with the bubble wrap on it. It's one of my most anticipated pre-orders of this year. Uh, well, it was a pre-order for last year, but it just got delayed so many times. Okay, here it is. So this is the uh, one seventh scale Hatsune Miku Lam Rock Singer version. Here's the box. Super sick box. Really nice. I don't know why they shipped it in such a huge shipping box because it's like very flat. Like there was so much unnecessary paper in there. But I did get it from Tokyo Otaku Mode, so I paid the shipping and that was it. So I don't really care that they put it in a way too big box because I'm not paying for that. They're paying for it. <laughs> well, I mean, I paid for it, but you know, like before the pre order even came out, I paid for it. So they didn't know the size. Uh, but here she is. I love the box. It is a Tokyo Otaku Mode like exclusive figure, so it does have their logo on it. She's a lot bigger than I was expecting, um, and this box is incredibly unoptimized. <laughs> so it has Miku right here, and then underneath this like this part, it has her skirt and her guitar. So I guess let's open her up. I'm so excited about this figure. Right, so popping off the top. figure herself yeah this is huge this figure is by stronger and i'm a massive fan of stronger's work um i have the hana Goromo set by stronger and i feel like i have other figures by them but maybe i don't huh but i i love everything they do they do delay it a lot but they do such good work they make such gorgeous figures okay let's open her up Wash is quite a few instructions. Uh, here's the base. It is a boring black base, but it says Hatsune Miku. Is that upside down? It says 39 Hatsune Miku. Lamb Rock Singer. Cute. And then we have Miku, who they were ballsy enough to ship with her twin tails attached and her head things on too. But I mean, they didn't come broken, so it's pretty impressive, honestly. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, she looks amazing. Wow, she looks so good. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, she's so slay. So she does have like shorts on, so you can just display her with the shorts. Um, or you can put her skirt on, which I will be doing for sure. I should be wearing my jacket while I unbox this. Oh my gosh. Because I literally have her jacket. My, uh, I guess now fiance uh, got it for me for Christmas last year. Or last year or the year before? I feel like it was the year before. This figure's been delayed a lot. Oh my god, she's so slay. She's so cool. Ah, I'm obsessed. Okay, and then she has like an empty hand that you can display her with. And then the, like you switch out this hand to put her guitar. So you take her head off. Her twin tails are insane. I'm obsessed with her. Then you can take off this spare hand. And here's her guitar. It's super detailed. The guitar strings, the guitar strings are real. Oh my god, she looks amazing. Her nails are painted so delicately. Oh my god, everything looks so good. Stronger is literally one of the best manufacturers out there, I swear. Like, their figures are so clean. Like, the decals on her jacket. This has got to be one of the cleanest figures I have ever gotten. Oh my god. Wait, like, just looking at these details, I'm so impressed. Like, they are painted with, like, laser precision. And the shading on her and everything is just gorgeous. Her guitar. Oh my god. Amazing work, Stronger. Amazing work. And there we have it. Here she is, looking amazing. Let's pop her on the base. I wonder which way the base is supposed to go. If I should have it, I feel like I should put it this, yeah. I can't wait to display her with the Solwa Miku. They're gonna look so good together. Ah obsessed so here she is here's the lamb rock singer miku um she looks amazing her twin tails are absurdly cool just the way they're painted i'm a huge fan of lamb's artwork so i was so excited that finally we were getting a sick lamb figure and of course it being miku just sweetens the deal because i love miku so much um every detail on this figure is painted with such precision it's just gorgeous the colors are so vibrant her face looks amazing. Her twin tails look fantastic. I can't get over how cool they look, honestly. Um, they transition from like a solid plastic to a clear at the very, very tip, but it doesn't come off prize figure at all. It looks just super good. Um, her skirt has so many different like paint textures and her belt is painted perfectly. Um, all of the decals on this figure are crisp and clean. The buckle on her leg is, or like the, the belt on her leg is perfectly painted with no painting outside the lines. The crisscrossing laces are actually sculpted and painted with such perfect precision. Precision. Oh my god, I am so impressed with this figure. Like, I'm speechless at how good this figure looks. Um, if you were thinking about picking her up, you definitely should. This figure cost me 126 US dollars, or about 150 Canadian when I bought it, with shipping. That is insane. That is insane. I'm so impressed. For that price, this has got to be one of the nicest figures I have ever gotten, and also one of the cheapest scales. Oh, I'm in love. Amazing work, Stronger. Amazing work, Tokyo Otaku Mode. Thank you for bringing this beautiful Miku into our lives. I'm obsessed with her. She looks so good. I'm dropping everything. <laughs> All right, I have one more figure here for you guys. This one is from Amiyami. Um, I got an insanely good deal on this figure. Uh, I paid 8,900 yen for it. Um, for, a, whoo, for a B condition. And... I'm so excited to unbox her. I've been wanting this figure for a long time, but I just couldn't justify the price. And it's a character I don't know from Azur Lane, so I didn't really want to pay full price for this. Like, I wouldn't have got it if I hadn't gotten such a good deal. But I had been watching her tank quite a bit in price after release. I think she retailed for like around 17,000 yen. Um, and when I saw her for $89, I just couldn't say no. But her shipping ended up being really expensive and I don't typically use Surface, but I was like, there's no point. Like the shipping was the same cost as the figure. It was like $80 to ship. 
um, if I shipped EMS. So I ended up shipping Surface for about 30 bucks. So all in all, this figure cost me 128 Canadian dollars, which is honestly like such a steal for how gorgeous this figure is. Um, but I was kind of shocked at how much shipping was until I went to Japan and saw this figure in person and realized like her box is huge. So it is Le Triomphant uh, from Azure Lane. It is by Alter and it is the light version. I did not get the uh, one with all of her like ships or her like shield thing. I didn't need that in my life. I didn't need a figure that big and I really just like her design like this. So I didn't go for the full detailed version of her. Um, they said, oh, okay, it was open from the bottom. I was like, the top is sealed. Um, it is a B condition, so hopefully everything looks good. There's just pieces missing. I've literally never had a problem with B condition figures from Ami Ami though, so I am not concerned. Jeez. Huh, she has a lot of, uh, a lot of parts. A lot of instructions. You guys ever like get a figure and unbox it and get like overwhelmed with the amount of instructions there are? <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, is it even worth it? Is it even worth unboxing when it's that much of a puzzle? Okay, this doesn't even look like it was ever opened. Oh, she's so cute. She's unbelievably cute. Um Okay, so that was open. She's so adorable, I'm obsessed. I've loved this figure's design ever since. I've loved her design ever since she went up for pre-order, but I just, again, I couldn't justify spending that much on a figure that I didn't, of a character I didn't even know. Uh, she has a pretty big base, but it is really pretty. I find Ultra does very boring bases a lot of the time, so I'm quite impressed by this one, actually. It looks very nice. Um, and then here, in the blister, we have the gorgeous Le Triomphant. Um... So the other reason I didn't pick her up is, honestly, to me, this figure feels a little bit lolly-ish, especially because you can cast off her skirt and she's wearing quite a, uh, a skimpy bodysuit underneath, but you know, I kind of hummed and hawed on it for a long time, but I just, I love her design way too much to pass up on her. And I am actually really glad that I did pick her up. Um, she does have some paint scuffs on her actually, which probably should have made her C condition, like paint transfer scuffs, probably from her red cape, uh, which probably should have made her C condition on Ami Ami's end, but that's fine. I'm gonna put her red cape on anyway. Uh, but yeah, her skirt does separate. Oh, it's like a soft plastic. Um, the shading on her skirt is gorgeous. She has a little red bow in the back and then it is shaded pink underneath. It's really nice. Um, again, Alter always does a nice job. I always expect them to do a nice job, so they definitely deliver on what they promise. Her glove is beautiful. Um, one thing I've noticed though is her arm separates. I'm assuming to put her cape on, I have to take her arm off? Or no. Okay, no. So her arm separates so that you can switch it to the arm with the shield if you buy like the full version, but I didn't buy the full version, so I don't have the shield. Um, but you can definitely see the junction where her, her glove attaches. And they tried to camouflage it, but they didn't camouflage it that well. Um, her face is stunning. The eyes are glossy and beautiful. Her hair is gorgeous and painted so nicely. Um, oh, she's stunning. I love her little hair pieces, the little crystals in her hair and her crown. She really is triumphant and beautiful. Her bodysuit uh, painting is beautiful. It's also sculpted uh, and her socks look great and her shoes are super cute. So let's put her all together. Um, I'm going to put her cape on. I want the full, I want the full experience with this figure because I think her cape is one of the best parts of this figure and what really sold me on it. Honestly, her whole dress and cape is. Um, and I always loved her face so much. So. Are these pegs broken off? Bruh. Okay, I think this figure should have been rated worse than B condition because the pegs are actually broken off inside. Voiceover Gwen popping in here to just speed through this and talk about what an absolute nightmare it was to put this figure together. 
Um, I can see why it dropped so low in the aftermarket now. Uh, she was an absolute nightmare, nightmare to put together. Like all the pegs broke on her skirt almost. Um, getting her cape on the base is actually impossible. I couldn't do it. Um, I don't know why they would put the pegs in the base and not in her cape. It just is the worst design figure, honestly, I've ever seen. Um, she is gorgeous, so I'll give Alter that at least, but Jesus Christ, like this figure is such a nightmare to put together. Um, I do not recommend picking her up unless you can pick her up for like $80 like I did, because she probably will break, she probably will have paint transfer, and she's just a nightmare. Okay, and here is the stunning cape, the true star of the show here. Uh, it's huge, but it's gorgeously shaded. It's this beautiful, like, vibrant red color. Oh, ah, I love it. This is what sold me on this figure. This is what made me overlook the slightly questionable lolliness of it, because I was just so obsessed with this absolutely gorgeous cape. Um, just like the, the paint job, the sculpt, the shading just so gorgeous. I love the way it sits on the figure too. Um, it's just beautiful. I think that's the best I can do. And they're not even in. Whatever. I'm gonna put her head on. Okay, if I had paid 200 plus dollars for this figure, I would be pissed at how hard it is to put together, honestly. But I did not pay that much, so I don't really care as much. But uh, here she is, fully assembled. She is stunning. As gorgeous as I expected her to be. I am super, super happy with her. Oh. Wow, I can't wait to shoot B-roll of this figure. It is gorge. So, she has a pain in the ass to put together, though. And potentially breaks quite a bit. Love that. Love that, Alter. Um, I feel like she is a bit of a miss from Alter. She looks gorgeous, but I don't think her quality is really where it needs to be for the price on this one, to be honest. Uh, I can see why she tanked in the aftermarket. Gwen from the future back again to finish off this video because I did not like how I did my outro before. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the May figures I unboxed. I am officially out of space. Like I've been unboxing these. I do not know where to put them. <laughs> A huge thanks to Bai for sponsoring this video, and a huge thanks to all of my patrons over on Patreon, and an even bigger thanks to all of my Chica Tier patrons over on Patreon. Styrak, Retro Richie, Leon Blade, JP, CJ, Gregory, Melinda, Remember June, and Teeter8. Thank you all so much for your support. It means the world to me. As always, I hope you all have a very, very wonderful day. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!